It has more twists and turns than a Hollywood murder mystery, but the saga of Vilipalai Prabhakaran, the Tamil Tiger's leader, and whether he's dead or not, rumbles on. The ground war may have finished, but the internet propaganda battle rages fiercer than ever. This is the latest volley from the pro-Tigers camp, a photograph purporting to show Prabhakaran alive and smiling at his own death. Given modern technology, it's an image which could easily be fabricated. The Sri Lankan government then produced its own photograph, saying it had come from a meeting Prabhakaran had with his then-political leader Anton Balasingham some years ago. But in a country where there is often a thin line between fact and fiction, anything is possible. It took 24 hours before the Sri Lankan government produced a body they claimed was Prabhakaran's. Tamil critics said the clean-shaven face resembled that of a waxworks dummy and it was of someone younger than the Tiger's leader. Some Tamils, though, are convinced he is dead. Colonel Karuna was one of his senior commanders until he switched to the government side and he says he's inspected the body. Uh, no any doubt because I've been 22 years with him, I can recognize very easily his body. Final moment he tried to escape from that area with small group, less than 18 or 20 carters. At the time they tried to cross the army defense line, army fired on them, then they scattered. Then uh, early morning army uh, did the search operation at the time he was shot by the army. It's at odds with the government's original version which said that Prabhakaran had been killed trying to flee the war zone in an ambulance. He's known to have used at least two body doubles and it's understood that there has been no independent autopsy or inspection and his body has now been cremated. LTT. But after 30 years of conflict, bitterness, claims and counterclaims, it's hardly surprising that both sides pick up on the slightest hint of irregularity. The mystery has parallels with that of Osama bin Laden, and the belief that Prabhakaran is still alive may be enough to keep Tamils around the world devoted to the cause. But will anyone ever be able to tell if it's make-believe or reality? This is the reality of most of the 280,000 Tamil civilians displaced by the recent fighting. Overcrowded, military-guarded camps with poor facilities and little food. A cause of concern to the Tamils and the international community. The Sri Lankan government says it will resettle most of the displaced within six months. Whether Prabhakaran is dead or alive won't affect these people very much. They are still suffering the effects of this bitter war. Tony Bertley, Al Jazeera.